Hi everyone, it's been a minute. I know. I'm so sorry. But well, hey, I'm back. What's our discussion all about today? Preparing patients for surgery. What are the key points to note when preparing a patient for surgery? Yeah, so um, basically, like most people know, surgery is something that causes, um, you know, anxiety in, let me say, like 90% or Let's give it 95% of um, the general population causes anxiety and, you know, a great deal of worrying. Okay, so to before surgery, there are things, you know, one has to do personally and even by the health professionals. And um, basically, I know that um, in our environment before surgery, they kind of have like a pre-surgical screening, which has to be done by everyone involved in the surgery. You know, whether you've been an inpatient or you're coming on that same day for surgery, there is a general protocol, you know, that one has to pass through before, you know, you can go in for surgery or you can be accepted, you know, to to be operated upon by the surgeons. So basically they do like a pre-surgical screening, you know, which is done by, you know, the nurses, the surgeons, I mean, in this environment, the doctors, like the medical doctors can also do it, like mm -hmm. those in the surgery team. It doesn't have to be like the chief surgeon. I mean, there is a hierarchy where you have like a house officer, um, a registrar, senior registrar, and the rest of them. So most times it's normally allocated to the registrar to, you know, go and do like a pre-surgical screening you know, of the patient and just give um, general advice and counseling concerning that particular surgery. Yeah, so um, also like on the day of the surgery, there is still screening that should be done by the anesthetist, the anesthetist and the peri-op nurses. Do you understand? The peri-op nurses are those that are involved in the surgical um, environment. So basically, um, you know, what they do is, should I outline them, Stephanie? Should I like outline like the basic points, you know, the basic yes, things? Of course. Every surgery is very important that, um, you know, a, a concrete personal history, a concrete medical history is taken. And um, I mean, from the nurses part, they do all these things as well. You know, they make sure that they take like a health history. They want to know like the medications you've been on previously. They want to know the medications right. you're currently on. They want to know what your diet is like. Do you understand? So um, they want to know a couple of things. To, they want to know if you've also had like a surgery before. You can hear me, right? Yes, right. Okay, so basically um, the fact that you came for surgery today does not mean like it's your first time. So they still want to know if you've had like surgeries in the past. Do you understand? They want to know like if you've had um, reactions to some medications, to the anesthesia you've been given and the rest of them. So most times they can actually use your present condition, sorry, rather your past condition to know if one or two things are going to affect you in this present time. So basically they dance around all these things and one of the things that one would notice is that you keep getting a rep you, you know you keep getting like repetitive questions. Do you understand? The nurse will come and ask you yeah. questions, the doctors will come and ask you questions in the operating room, they will still ask you like some questions. It's not to you know scare you or make you feel um, anxious but it's just for the sake of safety. You know, because at the end of the day, you being healthy and recovering quickly is the utmost priority of, um, you know, the health professionals. Okay. Yeah. So they just do like a pre-surgical, a, a pre-surgical survey, a pre-surgical screening, just to make sure that you qualify to undergo whatsoever surgery it is. No matter how little it is, it's of utmost importance to get, um, you know as much history as you can get you don't want to enter surgery and you hear that oh this person didn't make it out of surgery it's going to be really really you know not good yeah what are the things that cause anxiety in patients who are about to undergo surgery and how can the situation be managed thank you very much for the question dr stephanie so in my opinion i feel like generally anxiety is caused by anxiety or fear or worries caused by generally okay not even in the health sense of you anxiety is caused by ignorance or lack of knowledge about something 
you know so when you tell the patient okay you have so 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 growth on whatever part of your body and the best way we're gonna do it is you know going for surgery to take it out for you to be okay you know what's going on in the patient's mind is oh my god they're gonna use big knives to cut into me do you understand they'll use some burning things to to slash through my skin and the rest of them. This is for people that don't have so much knowledge about what surgery really entails. And now the patient is asking, am I going to come out of this healthy? Am I going to come out of this alive? You know, am I going to come out of this the same way, you know, you know, like in my previous state, will I come out of this um, better than I entered? So, I mean, this whole thing is going to the patient's mind because the patient has no idea about what um, the doctors are actually going to do inside your operating room. And to be honest, I personally don't feel like it's all sugar, spice and everything nice inside the operating room. It's not really like that because <laughs> when you're there, you fix things. Do you understand? We've had instances whereby, you know, even medical professionals, health workers are fainting inside surgery rooms because they are not so used to seeing blood and all those, you know, really bloody stuff or just peeping into someone's abdomen, stomach. They are not used to seeing they are, they are not used to seeing all those things. And this is normally seen in people that haven't had so much, you know, experience around that part. So we've had issues where people just faint at the mere sight of blood and ju ju just imagine this patient that is not in the health line, do you understand? You telling the patient that you're going to go into their stomach and bring out one or two things, you know, just for whatever purpose it is, for curative effects or for screening effects or whatsoever it's going to cause a great deal of anxiety or worry you know because i mean there have also also been issues whereby people going for surgery depending on where they do it we've had issues where you know someone would just go to a local a very local health center and the person doesn't come out the same or the person loses their lives so you know people are used to hearing stories here and there and you know when you mention at the mere site of surgery all they are thinking is this person is out to kill me this person is out for my life you know there are also some exposed people there are some exposed individuals that know about surgery they know it's just for their own good and all that but most of them may still be anxious about it because i mean they've not undergone such anxiety can also arise when some of them feel like oh maybe when they're having the surgery they are going to be in pain do you understand some of them are not so exposed about the knowledge of anesthesia and the likes you know so they are just basic you know various things basically and i feel like as health workers one of the ways to alleviate this worry or anxiety in them is by you know just um properly counseling them do you understand counseling them no matter how small or how great the surgery is your manner of approach to your patients is paramount you know it's 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 of if, if it's a very um, great importance that you know you relate to your patients in a way that they would understand and also leave room for them to ask questions show empathy do you understand you know most people just you know see a patient and they're like hey Olga this thing don't they grow too much so the best thing we go do that to cut them off <laughs> do you understand and the man is looking at you you're not even giving him opportunity to talk you understand so the man is looking at you and he's wondering ah this uncle this auntie just wants to go into my body and bring out something and i don't die oh that was in his head you know but when you come calmly and you're able to empathize with the patient you're able to make it look like you feel their pain you're able to relate with them in a good way do you understand in a way that they feel very comfortable i feel like that helps alleviate the fears it helps alleviate any anxiety that may arise as a result of you know the surgery yeah so basically that's all i have to say about this part there are various reasons why anxiety may come yeah thank you so much for joining me today Thank you so much for watching this video.